Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do a short video today on this knife that I've been buying. I bought a bunch of them to put into my survival kits or day packs or things like that. Um, but I'm just going to do a short video for that. You'll notice I'm in a different area. The garage where I normally do my videos is just too hot. It's so hot it shuts off the camera. But what I did was I cleared off one of my programming benches and I'll do some videos here. I don't know if I'll do videos that include fire in them, but for stuff like this I thought I'd do it down here. Anyway, what I have here is a Card Shop version 2. Shop? Card Sharp version 2. Just like so. It's a little knife that's packaged in the size, in the size of a uh, credit card. I'm not going to open this one up, but what I'll do is I'll pull out the one that I have in my wallet. Fits right in the wallet. Same size as my library card. But this is it. Now I've used it a couple of times already, so it's already been opened, and that's why I thought I'd show this. Hard plastic. I'll give you a link to the website where you can get more information on this stuff. And I'll give you the link for the website where I buy these. Really cheap. I think because this is an older version, they have a newer version out now. But this is version 2. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully you can see in this light, there are hinges on it. It's a polypropylene plastic with what they call living hinges. Blade locks into place with this little green thing. What you do is you just turn this around until all the green disappears and then the knife will pivot out like so once that's out you wrap the one side over then the other side over lock it down and there you've got yourself a knife surgical steel for the blade and then uh, polypropylene propylene yeah for the body Fits in a big ham hock like mine. Has like a threaded area on the top here for you to have your thumb. Now the newer version has a lock on it so that when it's folded up like this, it's locked together. This could pop open, so you have to be somewhat careful. Just like any other tool, you got to be careful when you use it. Uh, what did I do here? There we go. And it puts it back together. So let's just see here's jute jute twine cuts right through that like nothing here's some nylon cord cuts right through it and this has been used a couple of times so it's not like it's just a brand new blade um, I think it said it's sharp enough it said in the if you see on the website it's sharp enough to even cut through an automobile safety belt in an emergency. Of course, if you can get to your wallet when you're stuck behind your seat belts, we could see. Here's a potato. I didn't have an apple to try it with, but it says the blade whoops, is capable of, you know, uh, cutting up any kind of vegetables and stuff. Just wipe it off to put it back in your pocket. Now, another use for it would be, let me get rid of this, now before I go to that, what I did was I always carried a Leatherman Micra, this is a nice little tool, I like it for the scissors, a lot of people use this, good tool, but the, uh, and it has some screwdrivers and stuff on it, but the, where is it, here it is, the blade on it is really, can you see it here, is really pathetic. So you can see the difference in the blade sizes. I mean, this this is handy. I've, Like I said, I've used it a couple of times. Now, possibly one of the big uses for it would be cutting open a box. Now, here I have some more things that I want to show, but just cuts right through the tape like nothing. Cool. So a nice little thing. I mean, it 
it folds up once you've used it you can unfold it put it back make sure that you put the lock back in you just turn it grip it by both sides and just turn it until all the green shows and then it's pretty much you know back in shape it's a little bent by that time but you can stick it back in your wallet now these fit really nice like the people that make those uh, little Tums survival kits this will fit in there real nice and flat as far as weight wise this card sharp sharp why do I keep wanting to say card sharp card sharp is 14 grams or about a half of an ounce my uh, micro Leatherman this weighs 49.6 grams or about one three-quarter ounces so a whole lot lighter although this is still only just a knife whereas this is a scissors screwdrivers tweezers and everything else but if all you needed was a knife this would be a nice alternative so I just thought I'd show you that again it's the uh, Ian Sinclair I hope that's how you say his first name Ian Sinclair a card sharp this is a version 2.0 blade nice little thing now you can see all kinds of different prices but again I'll put a, a link down below to the website where I got mine from so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now